Hey everyone, coming at you from Southport, North Carolina. I'm with my good friend Dale underscore A from the Bat and Spider podcast. It's a beautiful morning here in North Carolina. We're standing on a pier in Southport and we're going to be going around to different locations for the movie I Know What You Did Last Summer. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great day and uh, we've been looking forward to this for a while. It's something me and Dale have been planning for six months. <laughs> and we're going to get it, walk around and check out some places. So we'll see you soon. Thanks. We're at our first location for I Know What You Did Last Summer. Right behind us is where, in the beginning of the film, when Barry and Julie and Sarah Michelle Gellar's character and Freddie Prince Jr.'s character is at that party, 4th of July celebration, that took place in this area. Now, they built condos a few years ago, so it looks a little different, but that Oyster, or American Fish Company, is still down there, and that's in that scene as well, if you watch the movie. And uh, this is also where, where Barry goes to the gym and he gets ran over by the car. The fisherman took the car down there, turned it around, and Barry was standing pretty much where me and Dale are right now. And the car started chasing him down that way, which we're gonna walk down there right now to where the gym was and where we saw the fisherman during the parade. And uh, we're gonna walk down there right now. So see you soon, bye. Hey everyone, we are walked down a little bit closer to where the gym was. So this is where the car chased Barry. Barry was running to right about where me and Dale are right now. And then Barry, was right here and got hit by the car and went flying through that billboard onto the dock, which is on the other side of that fence right there. And uh, yeah, we're right here by the gym too. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, back again with our next location. Right behind me, the Fishy Fish Cafe is where the gym was that Barry went to work out that night before he got ran over by the fisherman in his his own by his own car. Oh, and uh, also, this location down here by the dock was used for a lot of different locations in the film. Like I said earlier, the party at the beginning of the movie, the celebration, the 4th of July celebration, um, Barry going to the gym, which is right behind us. Um, actually, later on, even, it was used for the parade towards the end of the film when Helen's on the float and Barry's keeping an eye on her and she sees the fisherman um, staring at her from above and he pulls out the hook. That was right up there on that deck. That's where the fisherman was located in the film. And uh, yeah. And Barry took off after the wrong guy, the old guy, which ran down that dock over there. But I, we can't get back there. It's posted. He can't go back there. But yeah, that's where the fisherman was hanging out when Helen saw him. And he pulled out his hook. And that's the gym where Barry was working out and then proceeded to get run over by his own car um, from the last location. So, yep, that's it for this one. We're going to walk up and uh, maybe get something to eat. Go see the theater where they had the Kroger Queen pageant and Barry got killed and a few others. So... I'm shooting this from the reverse side because we couldn't go out in that dock over there by the Fishy Fish Cafe. It's all posted. But right over there by the Fishy Fish Cafe, that's where Barry, during the parade, when Helen saw a fisherman, she points, Barry chases that guy down, the Gordon's fisherman, and it ends up being that scared old guy. That dock over there, that's where he chased him down over there and tackled him and then found out that it's not the guy he's looking for. Um, and that's also to the right of the Fishy Fish Cafe is where Barry got hit by the car and tossed onto the dock. Just a different angle on it. We're shooting it from the other side. We're on this dock out here. It's a beautiful day here in Southport. Um, also, that's next to the Fishy Fish Cafe. That's where they saw the fisherman. Just a reverse angle from the other side when he was threatening Helen. Pulled out the hook when she saw him during the parade, the Kroger Queen pageant parade. Um, yeah, we're going to take a walk up to where the theater is and then the alleyway and maybe one or two other locations in Southport. And then eventually we're one of the other locations we're going to is in Bergnock, North Carolina. That is where they filmed the Shivers department store. And that part of the chase scene, we're going to see part of the location for some of that chase scene here in Southport. But the other part is in Bergnock, which we're going to do tomorrow because we're going to do Silver Bullet locations. And that's over in Bergnock. They shot a lot of that movie over there. So that we'll be doing that tomorrow. But yeah, we'll, I'll be back with a couple more locations and then uh, we'll take it from there. But hey everyone we are back me and dale just got done eating some lunch at a great place little place around the corner and we are in the alley this is right after helen sees barry getting killed at the pageant but the police officer does not believe her and he the police officer is taking her home they will be coming down the alley this way and actually the car the police car would stop right by these poles telephone poles right here we're close to where we're standing and the cop gets out to help somebody with a truck that breaks down facing this way where this silver suv is the truck was parked right about there where my finger is pointing 
and the cop goes up to help them. It's the fisherman. The fisherman kills the police officer. Then Helen's fighting to get out of the police car. And we see her running across that kind of middle of the town square to her department store where her sister is, which that location is not here. But we're going to get to that location tomorrow when we go over to Bergnaw, when we do Silver Bullet locations. But yeah, this is really cool. We just watched a clip of the movie or scene where it was placement and the cop car pulled up right next to those telephone poles. And the pickup truck is pretty much where this SUV is behind me, out in the street blocking the way. Hey everyone, we're at our next location. We're out, right outside of the Muzu Theater. In the theater, this is from the movie where they had the Crooker Queen pageant that was shown twice in the movie. Once when Helen won the pageant and the second time when Barry was killed and Helen was given her crown. This is the Southport Theater. This is where they shot that for the film. I'm standing right outside the door. Um, I wish we can go in, but we can't, unfortunately. But yeah, this is the theater that they shot for the film. I know you did last summer. And we're gonna head off into a different location. Hey everyone, back with our next location. This location's where Julie pulls over and finds Max, John Galecki's character in the trunk of her car with all the crabs. Right by those trees over there, that's where she pulls over and discovers Max in the trunk of her car and in one shot when it reverses you can see the water tower the southport water tower in the background from the other way shooting up the street from the other direction now this house has been added on to so it looks a little bit different than it did in the movie but this is where she pulled over and found max in the trunk of her car so yeah that's pretty cool we still have julie james's house we're going to check that out and helen's house and i think that wraps it up for southport locations but yeah See you soon. Bye. All right, we're here at the next location. This is Helen's house in the movie right behind me. This is where we see Helen going in after her and Julie were out. She says hi to her dad and goes upstairs. And this is where the fisherman cuts her hair. At least this is the outside of the house. I don't know if they actually shot inside of it. But this is the location where she gets dropped off. This is Helen's house. And I know he did last summer. We're going to walk off to Julie James's house. It's right down. Hey, everyone. This is our last location for Southport right there behind me that house right there that was julie james's house in the movie where she came home from college her mom asked her if she's on drugs that is the house right there the exterior anyway that wraps up our southport locations um tomorrow we're going to finish up i know what you did last summer over in bergnaw with the shivers department store and part of that chase scene over there hey everyone it's saturday february 17th and we're in bergnaw north carolina and this is the spot there's actually two shooting locations here for two different movies we'll i'll talk about silver bullet in the next video but this one's for i know what you did last summer we're finishing up that shooting location i'm still with dale underscore a from the bat and spider podcast please go over to instagram dale's been uploading short videos over there of each location go over and check him out give him a like and subscribe to our podcast over at apple podcast and spotify show those guys some love tell them i sent you thank you all right, here is the rest of the Helen Shivers chase scene that we started yesterday in Southport in the alley. Now, when they cut, they sh the next scene when she's running, they show her running down this alley with a white garage behind her. We don't know where that location is. I thought it was here, but it's not. But then they cut to she enters a park or like a town square. Right back there between those two trees, she starts running towards where me and Dale are standing. And she proceeds to run through the park Harold's is over there. That's where Shiver's department store is, was in the film. And she ran right by that tree right there to the, fr the front door of the store, banging to get Elsa to let her in. And then we see it cuts to the fisherman entering the park right about here where I'm pointing. And he walks, starts walking through. And in the shot, he walks right by that big tree over there in the light post and starts going towards Harold's to chase down Helen. And then Elsa opens the door and lets her into the store before he can get to her. But as we all know, if you're a fan of the movie, he goes around the back, gets in, kills Elsa, and then proceeds to chase Helen out the back of the store, which we're going to go around and try to get in the back side of the store. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. So we'll shoot that location as well. But yeah, this is where a big part of the chase goes until he gets, she gets to shiver his apartment store. We're going to go over close to the store. I don't know if it's open. We haven't walked by yet. But yeah. Hey everyone, standing right outside where Shiver's department store was, and I know what you did last summer. It's called Harold's, but unfortunately it closed down a few years ago. Um, they're no longer open, at least not for regular business, which is unfortunate. But yeah, this is where she ran up, and uh, Elsa came 
slowly and painfully to open the door to let her in before the fisherman got to her. But yeah, standing right outside the building. Um, yep, this was Shiver's department store. On to the next location. Hey everyone, back once again. We are on the back side of Harold's or Shiver's department store. And in the film, Sarah Michelle Gellar climbs out that middle window, I do believe, right Dale? Mm -hmm. And jumps off into a dumpster. But this is the back of Shiver's department store as filmed in the movie. And then she ran down this alley that we're in right now. And the chase continued, obviously, until she gets caught up by with the fisherman right as she was about to get to safety and gets killed by those tires. Um, I don't know where that location is. Me and Dale were talking about it. I, know, I can't find where they shot that. I don't know if they shot it here or I'm thinking they shot it in Southport. But um, yeah, but this is the back of Shiver's department store. And this will conclude my I know our, our I know what you did last summer location video. Um, this was a fun one to do. And uh, yeah, we're, you'll see a silver bullet one coming up, maximum overdrive, and a few more that we're doing. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. And we're gonna go check out a few more locations for silver bullet. See you later.